Hey guys, here right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're checking out the new epic weapon, the Asters, which is basically a mini scorpion, which is powered by solar panels or something, which is kind of cool. So the perk says charging the weapon increases the damage of the shot by 50%, but it also deals 50 damage to your own armored car, which I showed you in my previous update video is kind of devastating if you have it mounted on the wrong part. So we got our first Asterisk mounted on our uh, flywheel here, our K2 flywheel, which has 323 durability, which is pretty decent. I hope we don't overcharge our shot. And then the second gun we have on a right elbow, which has 29 durability, but 90% of the damage gets passed through. So I'm uh, hoping it lasts a little bit longer as well, but we also got it on a small APC panel which has 112 durability. Now, instead of using the Averter, we are using the Hadron Cabin and a King Mine Layer just because the reload is kind of iffy on this thing. It's kind of long. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm over 10K subscribers and we're trying to get to 11K real quick. So yeah, any help would be appreciated. So you guys should sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Now, before we continue, let's take a look at the Asteros Pulse Accelerator. So it has 1650 power score. On the stat card, damage is pretty high, fire rate is high, range is high, accuracy is high, but in real life, fire rate is actually extremely low. I don't know why it's that high on a stat card, but like people say, stat card doesn't really matter. Durability is 400 points, energy drain is 6 energy, 702 kilograms. Now the perk says charging the weapon increases its damage by 50%, but it also deals 50 damage to your own armored car now i tested this out i'll show you guys in a little bit it doesn't deal damage to the armored car it deals damage to the part the weapon is attached to all right now let's take a look at the third rotation speed so the third rotation speed is kind of slow so it will be hard tracking targets at long range it doesn't really matter but if you're at medium range eh, this thing is kind of slow gun elevation is pretty decent at around 35 degree ish and the gun depression is negative 15 or 15 degrees, which is also pretty decent. Okay, so if you have the gun mounted on the cabin, you, you get 50 damage, you know, just like the perk says. But if you add a averter to the cabin, you'll receive 38 damage, you know. But what's strange is if you mount the gun on the cabin and the averter, you get 41 damage. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why. If you mount the gun on the Averter alone, you'll get 45 damage. I also don't know why. I wish the Averter had like some kind of damage resistance by default, but I guess it doesn't. I also tried mounting a part that has pass through damage on the Averter and then mount the, <laughs> the weapon on that part and you'll receive less damage, but the part still has a durability. So I tried it on one of the left wing pieces and got negative three damage or three damage, which is pretty good. But as soon as the durability of that part runs out, your gun is still going to fall off. So keep that in mind when you overcharge a lot, um, you might lose that part that you have your gun mounted on. Now, the base reload of this thing is like around four seconds, which is pretty long. I also tested it with a KA2 flywheel, which gave me a pretty fast reload speed of uh, 3.16 seconds. I also tried it with a Hadron Cabin, a King Mine and a reload module, got a whopping 1.50 seconds. And then I also tried it with a Dead Man Cabin and a reload module, got a 2.3 seconds. And then I tried it with the Echo Cabin and a flywheel give me 2.15 seconds and then i tried the scorpion and one of the new asterisk weapons and for some reason the asterisk has a delay before firing check this out the scorpion fires faster but the asterisk has some kind of delay before the shot actually comes out of the barrel all right guys welcome to sector x i accidentally already got myself some damage i got myself 47 damage it's really tricky to use these things, man. I'm not gonna lie, really tricky. Oh, that's a cannon build. I, I, I feel like, okay, I gotta remember this is a epic weapon, so I can't expect too much of it. Um, I kind of like what they did with the UI, the changes to the map and markers and stuff like that. Uh, let me quickly go over here and it's hard to see my crosshair with all the stuff going on on the screen. 
see, I already got myself some self damage. It is extremely hard to see, like the circle around. See, I already did out some damage. It is. This guy's trying to shoot me. I, I got some damage. Okay, I'm not gonna charge my shots that long anymore because this is ridiculous. Oh, this guy's using mines. Oh, whoa, I'm getting skinned by two draggers here. Oh. Oh, I got some self damage, bro. This is not going well. This is not going well. I'm not gonna lie. It's <laughs> it's hard to use. I'm not gonna lie. It's my first time using him. All right, guys. So we got Sector X again. I must let me quickly check, cause see, uh, like I tried the timing perfectly, but we are oh we are on an NA server. Maybe it's the lag because in the test drive in the garage I can do it just fine. But here I feel like I'm lagging too much, so the reaction time lets me damage my my gun which is kind of unfortunate i really do think it's that so if you have like a poor connection this weapon isn't for you same thing with the destructors oh, no not just the destructors the mass uh, the assemblers the assemblers have the same mechanic that's why i don't like using them so i'll probably never be able to get the optimal damage with these weapons just because of the, i i can't take into account the delay of my connect Ooh, we got a good shot on him I'm gonna try to show you guys at least the best as best as I can. It does do a decent amount of damage. I got some self damage there again. Was that a double shot? Oh, that was I thought it was gonna be a double shot. So you, you gotta be extremely focused to like use this weapon, man. Ooh, we popped him. It has good, good that I wouldn't say good damage. It has decent damage. If the whole self damage mechanic wasn't a part of the weapon, it would have been an amazing weapon. But the whole self damage is kind of tricky. All right, guys, welcome to the fortress. We're going to try and like just sit back and snipe. I don't see this weapon doing great against close range combat builds like shotguns, melee build. We already got an empty build coming in. Oh, I oh, forgot about the self damage thing. Like, I think, oh, we're an EU server now, so the delay is going to be even worse. So I think. I don't really think I'll, be, I'll ever be able to use this weapon because I trust me, dude. I am releasing the trigger of my mouse button early as soon as I see hey, that one was a perfect one. See, I oh god, wow, I forgot to check how much durability this thing has. It doesn't seem like it has a lot. I really don't think epic weapons should be Shake's energy. I really don't think so. Also, six energy weapons should deal way more damage than this. 123 and then I have to wait such a long time. Oh, we got a gun. Yeah, rip. All right, guys, welcome to the ship graveyard. I just brought in the pack vehicle itself because uh, this one has an inverter, which but also has a longer reload and we only get like 16 damage if it's overcharged. I'm just going to work with the overcharged shots because I cannot time the shots, at least not with the connection that I got right now. OK, I do have to keep moving, though. 112. I'm going to lose this thing so quick. Oh, God, yeah. Luckily, I do have a verter, but that is not really helping me right now. Nope. I need some help, though. Oh, God, nope. It's not really working out. 
Oh, we did get his gun, though. That's good. We got the, the most dangerous gun out of the way. There we go. Second gun out of the way. Yeah, this thing works great with the averter. Not having to worry about the charging and stuff. And the cabin also has damage resistance, so even if the gun is close to the cabin, it doesn't really matter. I do have a feeling I'm going to lose. Uh, nope. All right, guys, welcome to the chemical plant. So we got our back vehicle again, but we updated it. We got two uh, Astroses now. Asteroids. Astros. Let me know how I should pronounce two of them. Asteroids. Because one is an Asteros. Asteros. And two of them are Astroses. I don't know. But yeah, not the greatest build, but I just wanted to see how long we can last overheating two of them. And not worrying about the, uh, the whole charge stuff and just keep firing. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> We're getting a lot of damage, self damage from these things. Oh, what? How did that. How? Come on, I need to wait like 10 more seconds. Oh, thanks, bro. It might feel or look like I'm overheating on purpose, but trust me, I'm releasing the, the click button. Okay, I'm getting hit pretty bad there. Bro, I should have a ton of damage resistance. Come on, help me out. Oh, if I overcharge one more time, I'm dead. So, we gotta play super careful now. There's not a lot of people left, but there are a ton of bots. There we go, 380. I'm not like overcharging at all, just clicking basically. Oh, I, I got him, though, <laughs> but I killed myself in the process. Oh, this weapon is lame. Well, guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, this one is a little bit tricky, man. This one is really tricky. Maybe with time, I'll get better at using them, like maybe playing them for a whole day or something, but I don't know. And how do I pronounce two of them? So one Asteros, two Asterosis, or two Asteros, again, like... How does, how does that work? I'm not good. English is not my main. Uh, but yeah, tricky weapon, man. Tricky weapon. Like in the garage, you can time it a little bit easier since you have no delay, no ping issues. But in PvP, with a lot of stuff going on, okay, that one missed. I think it's just hard to do. I think, okay, like, oh, man, if your brain isn't functioning for like one millisecond, you're, okay, that one was short. I think it's just a hard weapon to use. And I don't have enough skill to use these. Maybe that's the case. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.